ready. Let's go. Shh, shh, shh. The Song of the Unicorn. Art, the lady with the unicorn and other medieval tapestries. And music. 1812 Overture, written by Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Hi, I'm Leo. My friends and I are in France to see medieval tapestries. Tapestries have pictures on them that tell a story. Do you want to see my favorite tapestry story? Great! This is a story about a magical unicorn who conducted music. Ooh, a conducting unicorn. Cool! Do you want to hear the unicorn story? All right, let's read it together. Once upon a time, there was a forest filled with friendly animals. All the animals loved to sing songs, but they didn't know how to sing songs together. Oh, my! Until one day, a magical animal came to the forest. A magical animal who could help the other animals sing together. What animal was it? A unicorn! That's right! A conducting unicorn. The unicorn used his horn to conduct music. Just like I use my baton. He pointed his horn up at the monkeys and he waved it back and forth. The monkeys started singing. Then he pointed his horn down low at the rabbits and he waved it some more. The rabbit started singing with the monkeys. Then he waved his horn at the ostriches. Then he waved his horn at the foxes. I cannot believe it. He's conducting all the animals to sing together. They sound wonderful. What a great conductor. All the animals were very happy. But then one day, a mean queen came to the forest. Where's the mean queen? Right. The mean queen saw all the animals singing and having fun with the unicorn. She felt jealous and wanted to stop them. So she took her magic mirror and cast an evil spell on the unicorn. Oh, no! The spell turned the unicorn to stone. He became a statue! <gasps> now the unicorn can't move! He's frozen! Poor unicorn! The only way to break the spell is to have all the animals sing together. But the animals can't sing all together. They need someone to conduct them. <gasps> Leo, you can conduct the animals to sing together. Yeah, Leo, you're a great conductor. But Leo, you'll have to hurry. You have to break the spell before the last leaf falls from the tree. When the last leaf falls, the unicorn will be a statue forever. Oh, no! The leaves are already starting to fall. I can do it. I can get them to sing together and save the unicorn before it's too late. 
but I'm going to need your help. Will you help me save the unicorn? Great! We've got a mission. We're going to save the unicorn. Let the mission begin! to give Rocket a lot of power. Put your hands on your lap and pat with us. Pat, 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 faster! Pat, 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 pat. Now raise your arms as high as you can and say, blast off! Blast off! Hold on tight, cause here we go! sing together. That will break the spell and save the unicorn. Can you show us how to get to the unicorn? He's telling us to go this way, down the musical road. Bye, Ostrich. See you at the unicorn. Rocket, follow the musical road. It goes to the unicorn. Let's sing the unicorn song. Clap your hands when I clap. We're helping Leo save the unicorn. We're helping Leo save the unicorn. Uh-oh, I hear someone coming. Who is it? The queen, yes! And she's holding her magic mirror! Oh no! She used her magic mirror to make... A lion! The lion is going to try to stop us from getting to the unicorn! Yikes! And he's getting faster and faster! He's an... a Chalorando Lion! What should we do, Leo? I know! I'll use my baton to stop the Chalorando Lion. I can conduct his music to get slower and slower. Retardando! That'll slow him down. Go for you it, Leo! Can do it! I'm going to need your help to make the Acella Rondo line go slower. Get your baton ready. Now wave your arms to the music, like me. That's it. Feel the music. Now make the lion's music get a little slower. Wave your arms slower. Retardando. It's working. The lion is getting slower, but he's still coming. We need to make the lion's music get even slower. Wave your arms a little slower. Even slower. Retardando. You did it, Leo! You turned the Achelorondo lion into a retardando lion. Look, he moved so slowly, he fell asleep. Nighty night, lion. 
Thanks for conducting with me. Rocket says he sees something. What is it, Rocket? Who does Rocket see? Oh, yeah! It's the unicorn! And he can't move! He's still a statue! We have to hurry and get there so Leo can conduct the animals. It's the only way to break the statue spell. Full speed ahead, Rocket! Help me with our song. Clap your hands when I clap. We're helping Leo save the unicorn. We're helping Leo save the unicorn. Remember, Rocket, stay on the musical road. It'll take us right to the unicorn. Uh-oh, who does that sound like? The Mean Queen! Yes! Where is the Mean Queen? Right, there she is! And she's pointing her mirror at the musical road! <gasps> oh no! The Mean Queen used her magic to make lots and lots of musical roads! And they all go in different directions! Now we don't know which musical road goes to the unicorn. But I have to get to the unicorn. I need to conduct the animals to sing together before it's too late. Look, look, look! It's a little monkey. He knows how to find the right road. To get to the unicorn, we have to follow the road that plays the unicorn song. Right, Monkey. The unicorn song looks like this. And it sounds like this. Let's look and listen carefully at the first musical road. Does that look like the unicorn song? Hmm, let's listen. Does it sound like the unicorn song? No. So that can't be the road we want. Remember, the unicorn song looks like this. And it sounds like this. Let's try this next road. Does this look like the unicorn song? Well, let's listen and find out. Does it sound like the unicorn song? No. So this can't be the road either. What about this road over here? Does it look like the unicorn song? Oh, let's listen. Does it sound like the unicorn song? Yes! We found the road that goes to the unicorn! Thanks for looking and listening with us. And thank you too, little monkey. So long, monkey. See you at the unicorn! Let's do our song. Clap your hands with me. We're helping Leo save the unicorn. We're helping Leo save the unicorn. Look! Rocket sees the unicorn! But there are only a few leaves left 
on the train. We need to hurry so Leo can conduct the animals. They have to break the spell before all the leaves hit the ground. Rocket, I need to get to the unicorn as fast as you can fly. Super fast! Super fast! Super fast! Get to super fast. We have to start at Adagio. Pat the beat on your lap slowly. Moderato. Now pat the beat on your tummy a little faster. Conduct the animals? Great! Get your baton ready! First, we need to conduct the monkeys high up in the trees. Reach your baton high over your head and point up to the monkeys. Good! Now wave your arms back and forth to make the monkeys sing. It's working! Now let's conduct the rabbits to sing. Reach your baton and point down low to the rabbits. Now move your arms back and forth to the music. That's it! They're starting to sing together! Statue spell is breaking. We have to keep conducting. Now, reach your baton way over here and point to the foxes on this side. Conduct the foxes to sing. You're doing it. Reach your baton all the way to the other side and conduct the ostriches. Conduct the monkeys up high and the rabbits down low. Conduct the foxes over here and the ostriches over there. Conduct all the animals. Conduct the monkeys and the rabbits and the foxes and the ostriches all together. Keep conducting. Did we save the unicorn? Yes, we did it. Hooray! You did it, Leo. You saved the unicorn just in time. Thanks for conducting with me. You were amazing! Oh no! It's the Mean Queen! And she has her magic mirror! Way to go, Rocket! You bounced that spell right back at the Mean Queen. 
She trapped herself inside a magic bubble. But look, the unicorn is going over to talk to the queen. Aww. The queen says she's sorry. She feels bad about putting a spell on the unicorn. She just wanted to sing together with all the little animals. I cannot believe it! The unicorn is conducting the queen! She's singing! Now all the animals are singing together with the queen! Hooray! She's going to be a nice queen from now on! Mission completion! Little Einstein's yeah! We're on in three, two, one, go! Flight of the Instrument Fairies! Art! Ancient Roman mosaics! And music! Violin Concerto in E Minor. Written by Felix Mendelssohn. Hey, I'm Quincy, and I'm trying to find my violin. It's one of my favorite instruments. I know it's here somewhere. Do you see my violin? Where is it? Yes, there it is. Ooh, look. What did you find, Quincy? It's a story written with music. A music story. Wow. But the only way to see the story is to play the music. I can play the music story on my violin. Go for it, Quincy. I can't wait to hear the story. Do you want to hear the special music story? Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, in the snowy Arctic, there lived magical fairies. Instrument fairies! Whoa! The instrument fairies had the power to make beautiful colors in the sky. Look, there's a trumpet fairy. Ooh, the trumpet fairy makes blue magic. The oboe fairy makes red magic. The flute fairy makes purple magic. <laughs> and the tuba fairy makes green magic. But there was one instrument fairy who was smaller than all the rest. The little baby violin fairy. Aw, she's so cute. What color does the violin fairy make? Golden yellow, right! When the instrument fairies all played their music together, it made a colorful light show in the sky. The Aurora Borealis. We know the Aurora Borealis. It's the Northern Lights. Animals would come from all over the Arctic to watch the Northern Lights. It made them very happy. But look, the story's not over yet. One day, a snowstorm came. There was snow and strong winds. Oh no, the wind is blowing too hard for the instrument fairies. There was one instrument fairy who was small enough to get out of the cave. 
which instrument fairy got out of the case? The violin fairy, yes. The violin fairy flew off to find help. She had to find someone who could save her friends. Aw, poor instrument fairies. I wonder if the violin fairy ever found someone to help. <gasps> Listen, that sounds like the violin fairy. Where is she? Oh, yes, she's right here in the rocket room. Wow! Quincy, the violin fairy wants you to help her. Violin fairy, do you want me to help you rescue your friends? Of course I'll help you. A little Einstein always helps a friend in trouble. Yay, Quincy! You can do it. But to rescue the instrument fairies from the snowy cave, I'm going to need your help. Will you help me rescue the instrument fairies? Great! We've got a mission. We're going to save the instrument fairies. Let the mission begin! to give Rocket a lot of power. Put your hands on your lap and pat with us. Pat, 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 faster! Pat, 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 pat. Now raise your arms as high as you can and say, blast off! Blast off! Hold on tight, because here we go! Sing the magical fairy song. Zippity zip, 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 zip. Sing it with us. Zippity zip, 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 zip. Great singing. The violin fairy says she can lead us to the cave where her friends are trapped. She goes! She wants Rocket to follow her across the Bering Sea. That's no problem for Rocket. He can turn into a boat. Wow! Way to go, Rocket! Go that way, Rocket. The Violin Fairy wants us to follow her into that tunnel. Uh-oh, there are lots of tunnels in here. And we don't know which way the violin fairy went. Don't worry, we can listen to figure out which way she went. Remember, the violin fairy plays a magical song that sounds like this. Let's listen for her song down this first tunnel. Is that the Violin Fairy song? No, that's not her song. I wonder who's making that music. It's an animal. What animal is it? A seal, yes. Remember, we need to listen for the Violin Fairy's song. Let's listen to the next tunnel. Is that the Violin Fairy song? No, that 
can't be the way. Let's see who's making that music. What animal is it? <gasps> yes, it's a polar bear. Yikes! We definitely don't want to go that way. Come on, let's check this third tunnel. Listen. Is that the Violin Fairy song? Yes, that's her song. All right! We found her. Hooray! Thanks for helping us find the right tunnel. Go that way, Rocket. like the other instrument fairies. They need us to hurry and rescue them from that cold, dark cave. Don't worry. The violin fairy can lead us to the cave. Let's go. Zippity zip zip zin zin zin. The Violin Fairy knows a shortcut to get past the ice. We can go under the ice. Of course, Rocket can turn into a submarine. All kinds of undersea creatures. Yikes! I wonder what's making that loud noise. Let's check Rocket's periscope. Oh no! Humongous pieces of ice are falling into the water. The iceberg is calving. Look out! Phew! Good maneuvering, Rocket. Uh-oh! But the ice made a wall all around us. We're trapped. I hear an animal coming to help. Where's the animal? Yes! It's that walrus! He's trying to chip a hole through the ice with his tusks so Rocket can get out. Go, Walrus! But to make a hole big enough for Rocket to fit through, Walrus is going to need our help. Let's do a Walrus dance. Hold out your fingers like this to make little Walrus tusks. Good! Now use your tusks to chip through the ice, like me. Chip, 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 chip. It's working. We're helping the walrus chip a hole through the ice. All right, you're doing it. Uh-oh. I remember who that sounds like. It's the, the polar bear. bear. to help walrus chip through the ice faster before the polar bear gets here. Get your tusks ready. Now chip faster to the beat. Chip, 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 chip. We did it. We helped walrus make a hole big enough for Rocket. Thanks for your help, Walrus.
Their music is coming from that mountain, Mount McKinley. Look, look, look! They're locked inside that cave on top of the mountain. <gasps> but look, who else is going to Mount McKinley? inside the polar bear's cave. We have to hurry and rescue them before the polar bear gets back. Don't worry. Rocket can get us there before the polar bear. He can fly us there super fast. Super fast. Super fast. To get to super fast, we have to start at a dodging. Pat the beat on your lap slowly. Moderato! Now pat the beat on your tummy a little faster. to go with her to help save her friends. Violin Fairy, I'll go with you. Yay, Quincy! You can do it! The Violin Fairy says you have to watch out for slippery snowflakes. Slippery snowflakes make you slip and slide back to the bottom. That's right. It's only safe to step on snowflakes that sound like a violin. Thanks, team. I'll be careful. I wonder if this is a slippery snowflake. Remember, we can only step on snowflakes that sound like a violin. Violins sound like this. Now let's listen to the snowflake. Does that sound like a violin? Yes, this snowflake is safe. Let's see if this snowflake sounds like a violin. Does that sound like a violin? No, that sounds like a trombone. That means it's a slippery snowflake. We didn't step on that snowflake. Let's check this snowflake. Does that sound like a violin? Yes, it's a safe snowflake.
to the cave. Listen, the instrument fairies are inside. <coughs> but the door won't open. It's still locked. Uh-oh. We know who that sounds like. The polar bear! He's coming home to his cave. But look, he's holding something in his mouth. What is he holding? A key! Yes! It's the key to open his cave. He's giving it to the violin fairy. I cannot believe it. The polar bear was coming to help the instrument fairies. He's a nice polar bear. Way to go, violin fairy. We did it. We rescued the instrument fairies. Welcome, Violin Fairy. Now you and your friends can make beautiful colors in the sky again. Ooh! The Aurora Borealis is so beautiful. Mission completion! <laughs>